In the year 1684, the Vatican removed 14 books from the Bible. There were originally 80 books in the Bible when it was translated from Latin to English back in 1611. These days there are only 66. The missing books are known as the Apocrypha, which in Greek means hidden. Even stranger is that Jesus' name was spelled Aesus before these 14 books were removed. Some say the contents of the books didn't fit in with the Roman Catholic Church's narrative, and so they were simply taken out. Number 9. Alien Influences Russian professor Genrik Ludwig allegedly gained access to the secret Vatican archives in the 1920s and came upon some extremely disturbing information. The story goes that Ludwig was allowed into the archives where he discovered over 53 miles 85 kilometers of shelving and 35,000 volumes of catalogues. He started finding things that didn't make sense. There were papers that discussed how aliens had influenced all the most ancient civilizations of the world, from the Egyptians to the Mayans. He also allegedly found historical records of nuclear-style weapons being used in ancient times. One text explained how the walls of Babylon were melted by a weapon that output monstrous temperatures. Number 8. The Antichrist In 2010, Reverend Gabriel Amorth was 85 years old. He was also the chief exorcist in the Vatican, with a history of treating over 70,000 cases of demonic possession. He had a small office on the third floor of Vatican City, where he operated as a very real exorcist for 25 years. In an interview with the Italian newspaper La Repubblica, the Reverend defended his work and freely admitted that he believes the devil is a pure and invincible spirit of evil. He also told the reporters that the devil can speak many languages, he can transform himself at will, and he can stay hidden when necessary. Gabriel Amorth claimed the devil infiltrated the Vatican and tried to directly attack John Paul II. The devil got back into the Vatican again and possessed a Swiss-Italian woman. On Christmas Eve, she attempted to push down Pope Benedict XVI, but was foiled by the pontifical Swiss guard. She went back the next year on Christmas Eve during midnight mass and knocked the Pope over. Number 7. The Three Secrets of Fatima The biggest prophecy of all was delivered on May 13, 1917. Three young Portuguese shepherds were visited by an apparition of the Virgin Mary. They were visited six times between May and October. Throughout these visits, the Virgin Mary gave the children three prophetic secrets. These secrets were apocalyptic visions of the end of the world. Lucia Santos became the speaker for the three shepherd girls. In 1941, she finally revealed to the Vatican two of the secret prophecies. In 1943, the Bishop of Leria asked to reveal the third secret and ordered that Lucia write it down. She did, but sealed it in an envelope with directions not to open it until the year 1960. The first secret was revealed by Lucia in her memoir to be a vision of hell. The second secret had to do with World War I and World War II. The third secret is hugely controversial. She gave a vivid description of the persecution of Christians in the 20th and 21st century, along with the vision of the apocalypse. But there are many who believe the Vatican did not publish what Lucia wrote, instead keeping her secret to themselves and making up something to satisfy the public. Number 6. UFO over Vatican City In 2007, a mysterious orange disc was spotted hovering over the Vatican. Witnesses saw what can only be described as a silver, orange glowing saucer in broad daylight hovering over the dome of St. Peter's Basilica. As quickly as it caught the attention of citizens around the globe, the UFO visiting the Vatican was out of everyone's memory. Number 5. The Lost Gospel There is allegedly written evidence that Jesus Christ married Mary Magdalene and had babies. The evidence comes in the form of a manuscript from the 6th century when it was translated from Greek to the ancient language of Syriac. This is obviously controversial for a whole lot of reasons. Firstly, the manuscript is unreliable. It is a real piece of work that was sitting in the British Library, but nobody really knows where it came from 
or exactly when it was written. Also, the manuscript paints Mary Magdalene as the daughter of God and the co-redeemer of humanity. In other words, she was just as important to the story as Jesus. But this obviously wouldn't have sat right with the Vatican, who wanted to whitewash Jesus and turn Christians into prudes. Many historians believe Jesus may have lived a much more human lifestyle than the Vatican wants you to think. Number 4. Profiting from Hypocrisy The Vatican prospers frequently from things they don't believe in. As an example, you probably didn't know that the Vatican invested millions of euros in getting the film Rocket Man produced, a relationship extremely frowned upon by the Church. They invested tens of millions in the Centurion Global Fund. This fund went on to back several films in Hollywood. Number 3. The Dead Man's Trail In the year 897, Pope Stephen VI went through a lot of trouble to put a dead man on trial. It was one of the most bizarre things the Vatican ever did. At least, that we know about. Pope Formosus had already been dead for a few months, and had no real way of defending himself or his honor. Pope Stephen VI accused the former pope in front of an audience and hurled words at him as though he were screaming at a real, living person. The whole point is that being the pope wasn't the best job in the medieval days. They were normally complete lunatics. It was more political than religious, and most of them died young. Number 2. The Secret Archives There is no place on this planet more secret than the Vatican's secret archives. Everything in the archives is so secretive that the Vatican only allows entry to the most trusted scholars over the age of 75. This is undoubtedly so that even if the scholars wanted to spill the beans, they'd come down with dementia before they ever could. We do know of some artifacts being held in the archives. There's a letter from Mary, Queen of Scots, before she was killed in 1587. There are documents relating to the excommunication of Martin Luther. The transcripts from the trial against the Knights Templar are housed here. Anything important relating to the church over the past 1200 years can be found in the archives. Number 1. The highest crime rate. Statistics show that in Vatican City, 1 to 1.5 crimes are committed each year per person. And in truth, this isn't a big surprise considering they're the smallest country in the world in size and population. There are 18 million tourists who travel each year to Vatican City. Many of these tourists are criminals. 